Well, good morning and welcome back to Heartbeat of the Timbavati. In the foreground there's a couple of Vahina, but in the backdrop over there it looks like one of the Birmingham breakaway males. Only one male that's been spotted here. And there's an entire pack of wild dogs about 150 to 200 meters from us as well. So quite a bit of action. But let's try and get a nice close-up visual. One of the Birmingham breakaway males. He's surrounded by quite a few hyenas. There's some wild dogs in the area. The entire pack of the wild dogs about 150 meters. And there's a black backed jackal passing in the background unperturbed by the presence of the other predators and scavengers. What is that lone Birmingham breakaway? I'd love to see where the others have gone to. Last update of them were much further to the north. The four brothers that stuck together. The black back jackal moving in closer there. Oh, the black backed jackal just double checking if there is in fact any food. <gasps> Immediately chasing off the jackal, so you overstepping your boundary there. And that was a contact call of a wild dog, folks. Yep. He's gonna pass. Mr. Lawrence up front, aka okay, Nelson Mandela. How are you doing, my Deba? Oh, very good, thank you. That's it, good vibes. A Birmingham breakaway mail casually moving to the south. Get the dogs. With a sort of a half-hearted bark. Now black backed jackal calling in the background. Ah, so the boy, you can see the indent in the stomach there, so he'll be fairly hungry. He's quite cool in the morning. Approaching just after 6.30. Things are heating up, not with temperature. But with wildlife, there's a lot of action in the area, folks. Yeah, so we managed to get around, and luckily the boy went static again, just to give us another opportunity. Does look like one of the older males part of that Birmingham Breakaway Coalition. But we were extremely lucky to see an entire pack of wild dogs on the way here. So when we do leave this boy, we're going to see if we can catch up with those dogs again. But they were on a mission chasing after Impala. About five or six hyenas and one black backed jackal. Just listening to the surroundings. Hunting opportunities gets difficult when you're a lone male lion out here. So they'll become very opportunistic. And sometimes even scavenge off other predators. If he for instance heard that the wild dogs in the area got successful, he might run up and chase them off and take the scraps, even with leopard, sometimes even lone lionesses or small groups of lionesses. These males will just run in take over a carcass. But preferably he would like to hunt himself. You can 
can stay here and listen for any opportunities and probably sleep here for the day. Good, he follow, he's following your suggestion, Lloyd. Yeah. The power of a suggestion. <laughs> One of my guests just asked me if he wouldn't rather find some shade in the tree, but let's zoom out. You can see the weather for yourself, whoever's watching. Look there, overcast, quite cool, a little bit windy, mm -hmm. still early in the morning. So I think he's still going to enjoy walking a little bit more. I'll try to get up ahead of this Birmingham breakaway mail. It's posing quite a challenge. It's a little bit thick here, but luckily Mr. Madiba up front is showing me the way. I temporarily settled down here. Didn't look for much shade, but he is uh, resting momentarily. And while he's here, he'll be very opportunistic. So even if he goes into a full-on deep sleep, if there's something approaching and the opportunity arises, he might take it. Yeah, you can yeah. see the indent in the stomach. He does need a good yeah. meal, but yeah. the overall condition of him is still good. He has that one dark stripe behind his left ear. Yeah, yeah it looks like yeah. it's just that little mange or something that's got under his left ear. So it's fine. Yeah, he has. He's got a number of different scars here and there. Mm -hmm. Now that mane will only start to fully mature a year between seven and eight years old. And it will even turn a little bit darker as well, the increase of melanin as the darker pigment. Yeah, with hunger driving him, he is quite attentive to his surroundings. He's every now and then lifting up his head listening to the planes game running in the area. I this sort of panicked caused by the presence of the dogs in the area so there's quite a bit of planes game. You can hear the clickety click sound of the hoofs of the zebra and wildebeest and the alarm calling in the distance as well. Well, the early morning sun causing quite a shimmer on his mane there. Mm. Surrounded by the orange flowers of small ruby gnidias. What a pretty sight. We're going to be leaving this Birmingham breakaway over here. Oh, we're still hoping that he reunites with his brothers to make his chances for survival so much better. But we'll keep on updating you on that story in the future but for now thanks for watching this is Christoph Skuman coming from the Timbervati Game Reserve I'll catch you on the next one cheers for now well welcome back everybody I thought I'll update you on the progress of Nyeleti female for the ones that is following her progress early in the game drive approaching five o'clock and she has found a lovely marula tree as you can see she's at ease there she's grooming herself and using it as a good point of surveillance summertime the grass is long foliage the bush is dense so every now and then when a female leopard or a leopard walks every now and then they'll pop on up onto a termite mount, get some elevation, vantage point up in a tree, marula tree. Survey the area for hunting opportunities. 
and take a break as well. But both her cubs are still intact. They just over a year old now, so she's done with her done extremely well raising her third litter. All the lions in the area near Leti has been under the radar a little bit. Oh, absolutely, yeah. she'll tiptoe down the stem towards the main trunk of the tree, sometimes pausing on a branch sticking out, just surveying quickly before she jumps down, and then she'll leap onto the ground from there, but almost like running down, like walking down fashion. But they're extremely agile up in trees, almost better than monkeys, so it makes them look effortless. They do it effortless, effortlessly when they climb down the trees. They've got a hunting success rate of 20 to 30 percent, but females with cubs slightly higher, sometimes pushed up to 40 percent of the time that they will succeed. So maybe two to almost three times out of five that they would succeed, especially if they've got cubs. Think about it. They've got more to lose. Typically, between 20 and 30 percent goes for lions as well. Just to give you an idea. She walked in this thicket, Combrietum woodland, passed through Terminalia thicket, and with the wind blowing, the grass is long, she felt hey. Let's quickly pop up into this marula tree. Have a quick groom. Maybe there's some parasites she collected along the way. Survey the area for any hunting opportunities. Of course, when darkness sets in later on, that's when leopards thrive. You're watching a Nyeleti female leopard on heartbeat of the Timbavati. This is Christoph Skuman, guiding from Rockfix Safari Lodge. Always a pleasure to update you on this female. I'll try and publish another video in the future on her. But thanks again for watching. Cheers, guys.